Yo, y'all know what it is, and y'all know what it ain't. But one thing y'all probably don't know is I got a little cold. No, it's not the Rona. I don't got none of that stuff going on. You feel me? I got my shots. If y'all ain't vaccinated, go get vaccinated. How y'all gonna spay the new to y'all cats, but y'all ain't get vaccinated? But more to the story, stop playing with my boy Cowboy for now. Hey, Pop Smoke, New York, stop playing with my boy Cowboy. Y'all want to treat, bro, like he ain't just come off the XXL freshman list. Y'all treating him like he ain't get the whole Young Thug, Lil Dirk, Meek Mill feature. And also ain't have a good album. His first album release, mixtape, whatever it was, was very good. He's one of those type of artists that when people like Blueface need a good hook, they go run to him. Before Dirk. Now, they, I'm not listening to me. Cowboy is more marketable than Dirk. As far as Dirk got the whole hood thing. You go to him if you need a hood banger. Like Icewind Vizo, Pooh Shiesty. And artists like that. You feel me? Cowboy is like, he's, he, he is a very good artist, but he's not in Lil Durk's lane. But if you want to get the knockoff of Lil Durk, you're going to holler at Cowboy. Still my boy. But I feel like Shorty let the foes in the dough. A lot of people ain't going to give Lil Fo his credit. Lil Fo ain't reach back and put nobody on. He ain't reach back and do songs with people that was in a smaller market than him. Cowboy most definitely put DCG on a song. Lil Zay Osama. He got a song with L. Heller. Back when L. Hedder was like in the in his prime, but kind of going down. And Cowboy, he's that you could tell that he's a folk on the hustler because the music that he's doing with smaller artists are all under the finball. Not saying it's gang related, but he's trying to show love to the nation and to the west side of Chicago. Pop Smoke Camp, they just dropped the album. It's called Faith. You know, he had the first album that he did. What was it called? Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Woo, something like that. I don't know. But Cowboy was supposed to be on that song, too. They took his verse off. This is the second time that Pop Smoke Kemp playing with my boy Cowboy. The reason I named a couple of his accolades was because you would think an artist who would have reached at least them type of levels that Cowboy has. You would think that they'll value his verse. He's very melodic. He's a very good singer. When he did that, honey, K on the cool. Let's not try to act like that one want to Pop Smoke's bigger songs for a minute until he started getting bigger and bigger, okay? And Pop Smoke most definitely looked at Cowboy as a genuine person, and they worked a lot. They collaborated a lot. And I'm just not sure why they doing Cowboy like this. I've seen this video of this dude named Hello Yasin. You know I always re- reference him when he talk about the downfall of rappers. He was talking about this year's XXL list, and he was talking about last year's, and he said he don't know what happened to Cowboy. My girl even said that not too long ago. She said, what happened to Cowboy Love? I don't know what happened to him. I Like, what y'all mean with Cowboy Go? He doing the same thing he been doing. He just, he released music whenever he released it. He's not that social of a person. But I think his music catalog is very, very strong. People need to give him some more props, at least, for the, the way he came in on that Chariot song. He held his own. In a studio full of heavy hitters, Meek Mill, Lil Durk, Young Thug, and I could, you feel me? I most definitely remember Cowboy Verse when it come on. I can't tell you word for word, but pretty much what that shows me is that Cowboy may have, just may not be a big enough artist to get that mainstream push. Even though his song "Envy Me" right out the gate that was a big hit, and he got other songs, you know, uh, Moonlight and other stuff like that that I really do like. But as for the industry to value you, they have to say, okay, I spend money on this feature for my artist because I know I'm going to get it back tenfold. A cowboy feature pop smoke song would sound very good, but people would be like, who? I can still see everybody that don't know. Cowboy's not a household name yet. He just did an interview with DJ Drama. Y'all go check that out. DJ Drama pretty much asked him, do he feel like he get respected in the music industry? He said, no, he don't. He said, because the whole world know my music, but they don't know my face. And that's due to him not being that much of a presence on Instagram. I noticed he's been trying a lot more. You can tell it's kind of forced, putting his TikToks up there and stuff on them. I want to show a little guns here and uh, He's trying to get that. He's trying to build that image up so people like Def Jam and Interscope, they'll pay f- for his feature, a feature of his on one of their artist platforms or mixtapes or something. But um, get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below because... I think Cowboy really did put the foes on. Not the whole world of the foes, but he's trying his best. He's one of the first folk on the hustler artists, regardless if he's from the city or not. Besides Bump J, because y'all would like, come on, foe, y'all got gone on my history. That's actually showing love to the city. If Lil Fo would have reached out and made a whole bunch of more connections, 
Like, especially with the heavy steppers. When the heavy steppers first came out, of love for would have reached out to them, for them, and just showed a little love. That's all it takes to make to be good in your city when you're a rapper. These rappers make it big and they don't show love. You know, I love Lil Wayne, but he didn't show a lot of love. Birdman showed the love, but when Lil Wayne got on, he could have did more for the artists that were smaller than him. And now that's all it takes. And now Cowboy, he a big artist to us. He huge in my eyes. When I, if I see Cowboy, I'll be, yo, shit, let me get a picture, shorty. Try to get an interview or something. But to somebody in New York, you know, unless you hip with the drill scene, you're not going to know who he is. So get in the comment section and answer these couple questions. Do you think Cowboy is a big enough artist where he shouldn't have been took off Pop Smoke's album? And then do you think he let the four corner hustlers in the dough? Now I got to throw another example. Soon as Cowboy got on, soon as DCG started bubbling, who, who reached out to him? Cowboy. Soon as L. Hiller started to fall down a little bit, who was one of his first songs? I heard it. I, I can't find it now. But Cowboy most definitely did a song with L. Hiller. When Lil Zay first started to bubble up too, who? Come on. Cowboy. Polo G, Vice Lord. As soon as he started to bubble up, what Cowboy do? Go through him. Cowboy is harder than Polo G at the point. Y'all not bringing that up. But he, Cowboy reached out to him. He most definitely showing love to people, and I don't think he getting that same love back. Hey, get in the comment section, answer them questions. I'm going to go ahead, go take me some Mucinex or something. I'm gone.